men. Yeah. Women think being submissive and following is a bad thing. Not they, at all. Well, no. some of them. They no, think that no. these words are bad. But guess who submits more than anybody? Men. Men. You have a military general. That military general will lead 20,000 men. Guess what those 20,000 men are? Followers. That one man is telling them to run into battle. Kevin Durant is listening to a coach who he, Kevin makes 30, 30, 30 million dollars a year. His coach makes 10. He's listening to that man who makes less than him and was not as great a basketball player as him. And him and the rest of those 13 to 15 guys go out and listen to his orders. We follow it because we believe that he's been put in that position for a reason. Mm -hmm. And we do it every day. So whenever women try to argue against this and talk about misogyny and stuff like that, understand that nobody follows orders more than men. Yeah. Women think being... Shalom, Kohalayma, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. And pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, There is Power in Order and Integrity. There is Power in Order and integrity. I spent 25 years in the army and I was a military intelligence officer. And in order for an organization to effectively move and communicate, it must do it as a body. It moves as a body. You can't have the body moving in different directions, or you're easily destroyed. You become picked apart, divided, and conquered. So in order to conquer, you divide. In order to survive, you come together as one. So the Most High, His formula works. Men have integrity. That's why all the prophets were men. So let's go into it. So if you're building a bridge, you cannot afford to have any portion of that bridge lack strength and integrity. If one portion of the bridge is weak or falls apart, the entire bridge is unreliable. You can't depend on it. What are you going to tell somebody? The bridge is 99% proof. It doesn't work that way. Then the bridge is worthless. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13, verse 4. For well, though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of the Most High. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of the Most High towards you. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Yahweh Amashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. So we're coming together through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Was not Yahweh Shai obedient to do the Father's will? <coughs> Let's go to John 5 and 30. So disobedience 
is as the sin of witchcraft. Let's go to John 5, verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. So we are strong when we're operating under the vibration of this song, this truth. This is where our strength lies. Let's go to 1 Samuel 15, verse 23. So if we're operating to please the Father, which is order, then we're operating in his will. 1 Samuel 15, verse 23. A book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. King Saul fell for falling out of order, disobedient. So when the bridge has a weak structure, when it has a point that lacks integrity, the entire body of the bridge is vulnerable. It's subject to being compromised or falling. So we can't join ourselves unto those that lack integrity because the entire body of organization becomes subject to sin, to serve the man of sin, the adversaries of Israel, starting with evil E. So he's able to creep in through vulnerabilities, which is going off, teaching false doctrines, bowing down to idolatry or sin, rebellion, essentially. So we're being ordered through the spirit and power of the word. See, matter of fact, before we go here, Let's go to Psalms 119. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 133. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Did not Yahweh shall I say, if you sin, you become a servant to sin? Why you think the Israelites are feeling? 85% of the United States prison system. See? So you become a servant to the enemies of Israel, which starts with evil Esau or evil E. Matter of fact, let's go back to that. This is a heavy scripture. So we lose our integrity when we invite sin in, rebellion, lacking integrity. So we are to submit ourselves to Yahweh Shai, just like Yahweh Shai submit himself to the Most High. Our women are to submit themselves unto us, just like Yahweh Shai, we submit to Yahweh Shai. He submits to the most high. Order. Psalms 119, verse 133. Order my steps in thy word, and let not iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. So when we fall out of order, we become servants to sin, slaves. 
Matter of fact, let's go from there to Romans 6 and 18. We're going to go to Romans 6 and 16. Before we do, let's go to Romans John 8 and 34. John 8 and 34. And then we'll go to Romans 6 and 16. John 8, verse 34. Yahweh Shai answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. See? So we become a prey. We fall. So our, our kryptonite is rebellion to the most high. That's why we were taught, do what thou wilt. We were taught that by Esau Edom. Psalms 119 verse 133. Order my steps in thy word and let not iniquity have dominion over me. A servant of sin a servant of that man of sin. Verse 134. Deliver me from the oppression of men, so will I keep thy precepts. This is beautiful. Now let's go to Romans 6. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So obedience is in order of the power of the Most High because we're operating under his parameters, so to speak. His frequency his vibrational song. We're going to read that again. Romans 6, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But the Most High be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that from doctrine which was delivered you. Let's read that again. See, so this freedom, that's why when you read John 8 and 32, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. But the Most High be thanked that ye were the servants of sin but ye have obeyed from the heart the form of doctrine which was delivered you. Order. The Most High, Yahweh Shai, a man of the Lord, followed by the woman. This entire truth. Verse 18. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. So that righteousness is Yahweh Shai, Malak Tazadak, or Shalom, or Malak Shalom, the king of righteousness. We serve our master, our Lord, when we submit unto Yahweh Shai. And our women are commanded to submit unto us. So we men were raised up to be submissive. We were born and bred to have integrity, to submit. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the most high. That's the order. Let's 
Ephesians 4, verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. So this is a orderly structure that's being built. Construction means with structure. Let's go here first. First Corinthians. Fourteen. First Corinthians 14, verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. The perfecting of the saints and the church, that is a congregation, a building, a spiritual temple. See that? So we're being built in order to have and obtain integrity. Let's look at that word integrity. Integrity. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. Wow, this is heavy. Unification. A process of being united or made into a whole. We're being made whole, healed. One body, one spirit, one congregation. Probity. Probity. The quality of having strong moral principles, honesty, and decency. So we cannot allow leaven into this building or untempered mortar or the entire building structure becomes compromised. It falls apart. This is why the Most High told us to be separate, which means holy. So he's building a building of order, men of integrity, his tabernacle. Let's go here. He talked about how in the military, a commander is leading 20,000 loyal followers that are submissive unto him. Deuteronomy 1, and this is Moses speaking to the captains of the, of the uh, tribes in Israel. Deuteronomy 1, verse 8. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. This is who the promises are to. The Israelites, we just read it. Let's get to the key point. Verse 13. Take you, wise men, and understanding, and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. Wise men are set over the congregation. Pursuant to Numbers chapter 27, verse 16 through 19. Order. So this is a structure that has integrity, loyalty, being subject unto one another, submitting to one another under the order of Melchizedek, Malak Tazadak, the king of righteousness, which is Yahweh Shai. Verse 14. 
and ye answered me and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men, and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with him. Judge righteously. So judges are set in order. Let's close out. So this is the will of the Most High. I'm going to close out with Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 15. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 15. For so much then as thou art righteous thyself, thou orderest all things righteously, thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that have not deserved to be punished. So when we go outside of the order of the Most High, which is his will, we become a prey. We fall to our enemies. Wow. Let's read that again. For so much then as thou art righteous thyself, thou orderest all things righteously, thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that have not deserved to be punished. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness, and because thou art the Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. After the order of Malak Tazadak were being set in order right before the eyes of those that hate us. Go to Ephesians 5. Okay, Ephesians 5, verse 21. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Most High. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Sarah called her husband Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. One body, one spirit, one doctrine, one, one faith. Let's get this one. Ephesians 5, verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, why you think we read John 5 and 30? Even Yahweh Shai is subject under the authority of the Most High Father, the Ancient of Days. The Most High is all about order, structure, and integrity. Ephesians 5 verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Call me Yasharela on the Bad Baba. What you got next, Lord willing? Shalom.